welcome Pisces to May 2018 love reading. Thank you all my subscribers, the new ones, the ones that have been with me since I have begun this uh, channel. I'm truly grateful to all of you who take your time to watch my videos. There are two ways to get me, Instant Go, which is an iOS app, and also my personal website, www.transformationandempowerment.com. Instant Go is an amazing app. I love it, and I am thankful for all of you who have reached out to me on this app. This is an app where you can ask a question, you can call me. However, my time is kind of limited with phone calls. You have to reach me usually between 5 and 9 p.m. or 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, actually. Uh, I also do video chats on there, and that's for a quick you know, question or, you know, you want to reach me the same day. And then there's my website, transformationandempowerment.com, where I also, besides readings, offer other services that you may be interested in. Okay, this reading is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising, uh, also Venus, and I have included Mars. Now, um, Please remember to check your moon and rising as this reading isn't going to resonate with all of you. So let's go ahead and get started with this reading. Okay, spirit. So here we've got the Ten of Swords. Now here I'm feeling that some of you are just feeling just in a bad place right now. Okay. Uh, or you were feeling in a bad place. So we're going to see what the next card is. But I, what I'm getting is some of you have been in, in a lot of pain. Um, I, I do feel like uh, there was somebody else involved in this situation besides yourself, like three people. Uh, I do feel like it may have devastated you financially in some way. Okay, there's the Pisces card. Uh, this could be with someone who... Uh, is young. I'm getting somebody in their 20s, but this, of course, can affect anybody uh, at any age. Uh, you're just really heartbroken here, but, you know, I just feel like, too, this love, you really thought it was going to transform into something uh, great here, and I, you know, when I look at these two photos here, I still feel this person does love you, okay? Um, and you love them, okay? Because this is the water sign and, and with the fish in the cup. To me, it's Pisces. Uh, but it can be any of the water signs uh, specifically. But, of course, this can be happening to anybody. And I, you just kind of feel outplaced, you know? Just like you, you just don't know where you're going with this. You imagined it to be something... That was going to turn out to be uh, what I feel is a lifetime. You know, someone that you were going to settle with. And it just turned out to erupt suddenly. I'm also feeling like maybe either you or someone else is married here. And uh, some, you know, one of your partners here, whether it be your spouse or uh, your lover, um, is hurting badly. Um, there has been also, too, a lot of deception going on here. I also pick up a Taurus. Um, perhaps somebody who you were strongly connected to was guiding you in love in a spiritual way. But it just, it seems like, I feel like somebody has deceived somebody here, too, regarding money. Now, this is somebody you could have met online. Uh, one of the dating apps or this is a person that you know may be close by and you were getting to know them but you just found out that they were actually using you financially okay so I really feel with the with finances that uh, it's been a tough a tough journey here and um, I'm also getting a work relationship that perhaps this relationship got you got involved with somebody at work and now I feel like it perhaps may be affecting your job or may just be affecting your money in general. Maybe you just cannot focus because you had a relationship with this person and uh, it, it turned out that the two of you have um, or somebody in this relationship has been deceived. All right, now I'm getting that there's travel. 
uh, to meet love. And I feel like for some of you, um, you may actually be going to meet a soulmate or twin flame. I feel like this relationship is beginning, okay, or it has um, expanded deeper in love. And perhaps some of you are traveling to uh, meet this person who may be actually overseas. But I also feel for a lot of you, it is close by. And so there is a reason to celebrate, okay? You're very happy here. Uh, for some of you who are in this position. And I really feel really good about uh, this relationship. I, I I feel its sincerity and I do feel like that it will come out um, good. But here I'm just feeling like some of you too have been through, <coughs> excuse me, a lot of deceptive relationships. And so you having trust issues on whether or not... Um, you know, your relationship is genuine, authentic. Uh, with with this uh, Hierophant, also the Taurus card, I really feel like that the answers are spiritually, okay? I feel like you just need to kind of back off of things that have happened to you in the past and focus more on your higher self uh, to also give you those answers. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull a card. Um, on each line. So here we have the King of Swords. Okay, now this person, uh, Pisces, that may have hurt you uh, or you were in just a very tough relationship here with the Ten of Swords. I mean, that is the highest card in, the, in that suit that, um, <laughs> you know, is really potent where I feel some way, somehow, whether it's emotional, physical, or mental, that you were harmed in some way. When I look at this card and around the cards that are here, I feel like this person is either a public figure or uh, a person of authority. I'm also picking up um, some verbal, emotional abuse from this person. Um, I feel like you have been betrayed, lied to, Okay, that's at least how you're feeling. And uh, with this King of Swords too, this person also could have narcissistic traits. Okay, so you have to be really careful. When I bring it with the Hierophant, I'm looking at these two cards and I'm thinking, whoa. Okay, this person could have mind manipulated you spiritually into believing that he was some amazing divine figure in your life and that you fell for a lot of the these lies and i feel like for some of you who have been in a position like this i almost feel like you have uh, actually figured this whole situation out here okay let me just get another card here so we have the eight of wands where i do feel like for a lot of you you are picking yourself up this month in may Okay, it's been an up and down cycle for quite some time for a lot of you Pisces, but I feel like you are now picking yourself up and you are going somewhere. Things are about to move forward uh, in May. Uh, dates that come to me are May 11th, May 22nd, and May 28th. Those will be significant days for some of you Pisces, so please mark that down in your calendar, okay? Um, I do feel like there'll be significant days that have really strong both spiritual and uh, mundane messages, um, you know, balancing both worlds. You know, you're, you're grounded here on the planet and then also you're receiving, you know, amazing downloads and you're moving forward on that uh, information in regards to love. Some of you are dreaming about people and what i'm what i'm getting in these dreams for some of you is you're dreaming about your future uh significant others some of you too are dreaming about people who have been in your life um there i'm getting two messages about those dreams one is it's a message from your guidance that you need to draw back your energy draw back your power from that person Okay, you can do it just through breath work. Secondly, I'm also getting that there are reconciliations for some of you. 
okay and the dreams are helping you so you you know you probably should get a dream journal going here but i feel like the dreams are are helping you work out some uh very deep subconscious beliefs uh along with some prophetic uh messages here let me move these cards up here i think i've got them a little bit too low and i think you can see most of them okay the next card here is we have the eight of cups this is where uh you've either decided to walk away from something maybe you have already walked maybe you were thinking about walking away from something but you are going here to something that's good okay i see you traveling i see you celebrating i see you getting with your true uh, uh soulmate or twin flame uh it is definitely um down here okay all right let's pull some love cards and see uh, I've already shuffled these so there's the deception card and of course I'm placing it right here by the king of swords but it is reflecting uh, basically these first two rows uh, where I'm I'm sensing that um, again I was getting three people involved so it doesn't necessarily mean that that person uh, you were involved with or they were involved with you that you're married or they're married it just could be that the person was not honest with you and has had somebody else or uh, perhaps even several people on the side the next card is you're waiting for someone and this could be the one okay so also the message here that i'm getting here is perhaps some of you who you know just I don't want to say necessarily the person was deceptive in regards to cheating but perhaps there were some things that were going on there were some dark clouds hanging over the head here of both of you and things were uh, not getting um, they were just not getting along you, you know that the just all these things were just taking place and so you really thought that that person was deceptive and they possibly could have been in the situation with these dark clouds that I'm seeing but I do feel like that some of you are waiting for this person to come back and there is a divine timing for this so I remember in earlier in the reading I did mention I felt someone was returning to you okay that you were dreaming about them so there is quite a few of you who um you know ended the relationship or or they ended the relationship with you that did involve some deceptive uh dealings but i do feel like you're waiting for them because you know in your heart that they are the ones that are for you all right i'm just going to pull one more card and there are the romantic feelings here i'm also getting the messages here too that some of you who have been through some deceptive relationships now is coming the time where you have the opportunity to meet somebody new for you singles out there who you need to just leave this deception energy okay don't mingle it in with your new romance at the same time i also feel that some of you are with a significant other you know that this person is for you you feel deep feelings for them uh, but you know the relationship maybe not be moving as fast as you would like it to be that doesn't not mean that that relationship is not for you it doesn't mean that that person doesn't like you all of us are somewhere okay somewhere in a space where we are working on our lessons or there are pressures and we're dealing with things and sometimes when there's too much stress or pressure we cannot feel love okay if we're busy judging each other we cannot feel love all right I want to uh, pull a card for life purpose um, spirit what life purpose card can help Pisces uh, right now here and now okay there's a travel card so some of you might be hesitant about traveling to meet someone um, obviously that is something to do with May that travel will be important in some way okay it also could be uh work even though this is a love reading you may meet somebody while you're traveling working i feel like journaling is really important i also feel like some of you might actually uh be working on a project together uh this could be um or you even travel together maybe you work together i, I picked up something to do with the airlines um or maybe uh you work for the airlines or a travel company and you are thinking about writing a love letter to your loved one i don't know but writing is really important for may 
Pisces, and so is travel. Okay, now let me just pick an angel card for you. What are the messages for Pisces? Intention. Okay, so intention. Intention is important in anything you do, whether it be spiritual or mundane work, it doesn't matter. Okay, I feel like the first intention needs to be about you. Centering yourself, balancing yourself, and then the other intention is it's a really important what goes on through your mind, what you are thinking throughout the day and evening. I think it's important what your thoughts are in the morning when you wake up from your sleep, whether you've been dreaming or not. I feel like you need to also write that down in the month of May. There might be a lot of astral traveling going on at that in, in the month of May where you're, you're journeying in your sleep uh, to different places um, on this planet or within the solar system. But I do feel like your intentions are important. They need to be clear for May in order for you to manifest really what you truly desire. Okay? Lots of love to you and blessings, Pisces. Thank you for being here. Take care.